binomial theorem. You saw this theorem, the simpler version of this theorem in algebra a lot. For example, you saw that x plus y to the second power is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, or x plus y to the third power, x plus y to the fourth power, and so on. So these are smaller versions, shorter versions of binomial theorem. Binomial theorem says, given any real numbers a and b, and any non-negative integer n, Negative integer n a plus b to the nth power can be written as the sum of the combination of k objects out of n objects, kn, a to power n minus k, b to power k, and your k starts from zero goes to n or in expanded form you can write it this way here you have a to power n plus one to n the combination of one out of n object a to power n minus one b to the first power plus the combination of two of n a to power n minus two b squared plus the rest of the terms and let me write the last term for you here as well. The combination of n minus one objects, combination of n minus one out of n, a to power one, b to power n minus one plus b to the n. So this is called the binomial theorem. Again, you saw binomial theorem before. You used it in algebra a lot. But this is the official definition that if you have the summation or subtraction between two numbers and raise it to a non-negative exponent, you can write it this way. Let's go over a quick example here. This example says, show that two to power n can be written as the combination of zero of n plus the combination of one out of n plus the rest of the terms, the middle terms, the combination of n out of n. Okay, very good. So, we want to use the binomial theorem. We're going to show that 2 to power n can be written as the sum of these combinations. But how? Note that 2 is 1 plus 1. Okay, so 2 to power n can be written as 1 plus 1 to power n. So if you just follow the binomial formula a is 1, b is also 1. So in the binomial formula, we have the sum kn, 1 to power n minus k, 1 to power k, k starts from 0, stops at n, which is 1 to power n plus 1 to n, 1 to n minus 1, 1 to the first power plus 2 out of n, 1 to n minus 2, 1 to second power plus the rest of the terms. And here you have, let's move this a little bit here, plus n minus 1 out of n, 1 to the first, 1 to n minus 1 plus 1 to n, or in this case, you have just n out of n. 
one to power n. So the very first combination is zero out of n. So here you have zero n. So one to any exponent is just one, zero to n, one out of n, two n, two to n, okay, two n, and then the rest of the terms, n minus one to n, plus n out of n combination. Well, we just showed that two to power n can be written as the sum of the combinations using the binomial theorem. 